Welcome to Vatican 6. I'm your host, Titan. Let's get to it. Right now, a five-year-old is one of two people shot and critically injured on the city's north side. It happened this afternoon as the two were driving through Rogers Park. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is live at Lori Children's Hospital, where the boy is currently being treated. Sabrina. Hi, Dana. We just spoke with the grandfather of that little boy who say the past few hours have been an understandable, absolute blur. He has no idea how to tell his own eight-year-old son why his nephew won't be on the bus with him to school tomorrow. A baby, kindergarten, kindergarten, not even first grade yet, but he's kindergarten. You know how excited these kids be to go to kindergarten? And now he, he got to go through this. Turvalon Sargent's grandson is just five years old, excited to start his first full week of school. He was excited. He was, he, you know what I'm saying? He was proud that he was going to be riding the bus with my, with my son, his uncle. And they, you know what I'm saying? They was going to be going to school together. And now we're going through this senseless. He's going to miss that first full week. He ain't do nothing to nobody. After police say an unknown shooter in a black Hyundai pulled up to his mom's car. She had just taken him to see his dad and they had just put him safely in the back seat. When that person started firing, they shot five year old Devin McGregor in the head. Somebody pulled up and started shooting. My daughter tried to pull off. She pulled off and she looked in the rear mirror and that's when she looked back and that's when she saw my grandson like literally shot trying to breathe or whatever. She took him out the seat, put him in the seat with her and then drove him to the hospital. This family is heartbroken. Police say the suspect also shot a 25 year old in the left hand and shoulder. He took himself to St. Francis Hospital in good condition while family rushed five year old McGregor to Lurie Children's Hospital. My grandbaby sitting up there fighting for his life and he a fighter and he fighting for his life literally. Police are still searching for the person responsible for all of this. They have not yet made any arrests. Again, that five year old little boy remains in critical condition. We're live outside Lurie Children's Hospital. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Let's talk about it. I'm not sure if this was random or if somehow the shooter wanted the father because they had just picked the kid up. The mom had just picked the kid up from the father's home. So I don't know if the shooter thought that the dad was in the car, but irregardless to what he thought, he's a bum and he's scum. Yeah, I said it. That's exactly what he is. You shot a five-year-old in the head. You don't deserve to be here. Period. You don't deserve a break. You don't deserve any leniency. You deserve to be put under the jail. When they build a new jail, your body should be part of the foundation. This is absolutely sad. And we always ask, like, when is the violence going to stop? As long as we have ignorant folks out here like this, it's never going to stop. This is Vatican 6. I'm your host, Titan. Thank you for watching. And I'm gone.